right, guys, we're back with another one. Yes, temporary featuring Sky the Grey. Another Sky the Grey song with Eminem. I think M and Sky the Grey, they work so well together. The last few songs that they've done, they have been really good. I think it was um, the song um, on Music To Be Murdered By, Leaving Heaven. That was, her vocals in that song were so powerful. Beautiful voice. I love that song. And then the song he did, The Last One Standing, for the Venom 2 soundtrack, Sky the Grey and M, man, that connection, it's up there with M and Rihanna. There's certain, there's certain collabs that M meshes well with, man, and I think those two, Rihanna and Sky the Grey, perfect. So we've got another one. This song's called Temporary. So, uh, yeah, let's check it out. A lot of people ask me, I'm not afraid of death. The truth is, I think what scares me the most is not being able to say all the things I want to say to you when I'm no longer here. So this song is for Haley. For when that day comes. Where's Haley? Whoa! Whoa! Oh snap, really? You got a song for Haley? Oh wow. I thought it was gonna go like a crazy direction because when Eminem says, I know people say, just like he did in, I just don't give a F at the start of that song. <laughs> he said the same thing. He started off with that same tone and then he just went, yeah, crazy. But okay, this is going to be one of those songs then. One of those heartfelt ones. Okay, all right. Things I wanna say to you when I'm no longer here. So this song, it's for Haley, for when that day comes. Where's Haley? Where's she at? This ain't Haley. Who is it? It's so much. Ah! <laughs> no, is that really? Is that really Haley when she was small? I wonder. Where's she at? This ain't Haley. Who is it? It's so <laughs> I think that might be. It might be a um. It might be an audio from a video, or an audio from a phone call. I mean, it could be. Where's Haley? Where is she at? This ain't Haley. Who is it? <laughs> so cute. It's so much. Ah! <laughs> I've been waiting all night for the sunrise to take away. Dark sky. Yeah, monster. And no monster, baby monsters, and I'm the mom monster. Oh. All it takes is a new day sometimes to get me in a better state of mind. Give me a kiss, monster. Love you. If I could just fall asleep, I'd be lost in a dream. But right now it's misery. And I just have to remember. What did I just say? What did I just say about her voice? I mean, we haven't even got into M's part yet, but just listening to Sky the Grey, the way she vocalizes the words, it's like, it's, oh God, it's hard to explain. It takes your head to a different space. It's, it's just, I don't know, man. And then you've got her voice on top of, you can hear, M is talking to Haley in the background. Like they're still talking. They're still having like a little um daddy daughter conversation. And then you've got Sky the Grey's voice on top of that singing. It just I don't know, it just brings that something to it. Oh man. It ain't broken forever. The pieces will grow back together. And in time I'll be fine. The tears are temporary. Yeah. So Haley Jade, I wrote you this song to help you cope with life now that I'm gone. How should I start? Just wanna say, look after Elena, Stevie, and Uncle Nate, and sweetie, be strong. I know I was your rock, and I still am. Saying goodbye is just not ever easy. 
But why you crying? Just stop. Haley, baby, dry your eyes. This is not forever. God damn. All right, M. You took me to a different place now. Yeah, this is, um, yeah, this is heartfelt. <laughs> yeah, this is, um, yeah, this is one of those. Yeah, one of those. Yeah, you know. Yeah, if you've heard Mockingbird, it's that feeling that I've got, man, listening to this. Oh, boy. Yeah. So he's saying that he's writing this letter. So if I'm following the, the death of Slim Shady, he's writing a letter knowing that the end is near, that the end is coming. If he knows it's coming, like, like so if he knows this is the end, this is what I'm saying. This, this is all, I said it back on my, okay, you know what? No, no, no. I'm going to leave my thoughts until the end of this song. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. I know I was your rock. And I still am saying goodbye is just not ever easy. But why you crying? Just stop. Haley, baby, dry your eyes. This is not forever. So when a heart breaks, it ain't broken forever. The pieces will grow back together. And in time, I'll be fine. The tears are temporary. Yeah. Ooh, the tears are temporary. Yeah, wow. I've never heard it put that way before. You know, tears are temporary. That's saying you're not going to cry forever. You will be sad for a certain amount of time, but then after that, you won't have to cry anymore. So tears will be temporary. Oh man, powerful. It is powerful. Oh my God. Yeah. Be fine. Tears are temporary. Daddy. Get over me and move on. You can play me on repeat on a song. But don't you dare shed a tear what I tell you. Straighten up, little soldier. Them times when I held you. Jade, it'll be okay. Baby, I'm here. Hey, I'm watching you right now. Baby girl, I bow. I will protect you. Your guardian ain't choked. It's hard as this may feel. Us parting is painful. And darling, the rain will drive you insane still. You will remain strong. Haley, just hang on. Hold on. Guardian ain't choke. It's hard as this may feel. Us parting is painful. And darling, the rain will drive you insane still. You will remain strong. Haley, just hang on. It won't be too long. I need you to move on. Staying still. Did I hear that? Hold on, wait. Is that a reach? Hold on. Folk and darling, the rain will drive you insane still. You will remain strong. Will drive you insane. Insane still. In stain still. Insane still, in stain still. Hmm, maybe, maybe. I will protect you, your guardian ain't choke. It's hard as this may feel. Us parting is painful. And darling, the rain will drive you insane still. You will remain strong. Haley, just hang on. It won't be too long. I need you to move on. And remember, it will get better. Cause time heals and winter. When a heart breaks, it ain't broken forever. I don't know. Why am I feeling? I'm feeling, um, I don't know. I'm feeling sad. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm feeling sad. I'm feeling really sad listening to this. I, I don't know why. I feel I'm feeling really tense. Like, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to sweat and perspire. And I, listen, I don't know, man. Like, what, what, why do I feel this way? Why does this song make me feel this way? I just, I don't know, man. Like, this is, um, yeah. This is definitely taking me out of the the whole Sim Shady experience that we've been listening to since the start of this album. And now we've just gone this direction. And oof, okay, all right. Let's um okay, let's see where this takes us. I 
really pretty. Do you know what her name is? Haley. Haley. How did you know? Hey. Yeah. And if there's days where you want to just lock yourself in your room and cry, just think about how when you were little, how you and I, back and forth to the studio, we used to drive. You strapped in the back seat, cause you were my little sidekick, yeah. Sweetie, I know this hurts. Bean, I'm wishing your pain away. Remember this Haley J, there's gonna be rainy days. I promise you'll get through them and make it regardless. Fuck it, Jade, I'll be honest. I knew that you was gonna take this the hardest. Sweetie, get up. I know that this is breaking your hardest. The hardest thing I've ever wrote Daddy. Haley, sweetheart, it's okay for you to let me go Baby, I promise you that when a heart breaks, it ain't broken forever The pieces will grow back together And in time, I'll be fine The tears are temporary The bad days will start to get I don't like the way I'm feeling I don't like it <laughs> I don't like this feeling I don't like this at all, at all, at all oh, No, no let me rephrase that. I'm not saying I don't like the song. I like the song. And, and, and I think that's the problem. That's the problem. I like this song. It's very heartfelt. But I'm feeling something. I don't know. It's hard to explain. I've got this very, very emotional feeling. Maybe I feel this way because I have three young daughters as well. So in my mind, so I'm just listening to him talking to Hayley Jade. And I'm imagining myself talking to my eldest daughter who by the way is away in England while I'm here in Japan and I'm worried about her even though she is in a group with other students but it's just her being in another country and I'm here I just feel a little bit uncomfortable and now listening to this song it's like oh my god I can just imagine myself just um you know talking to my daughter, my oldest daughter, and just saying, just asking her, how is she? How's London? You know, are you okay? She doesn't even call, <laughs> you know, she doesn't even call. So I'm guessing she's okay. You know, she only sends pictures. That's it, she don't talk. But yeah, this song, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, this is, yeah, I, I, I like this song. Yeah, M, you, yeah, you've got one here. You've got one here. Can you hear? Yep. No, big. No, what? No, I said, I said no, big. Okay, no cousin, no cousin, no cousin, no cousin. What the hell? Wait, 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 what? what? Hold up, hold up. Wait, 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 did... Hold on, hold on. I can't remember the last time I listened to a song that made me feel this way. You know, of course, I've heard like Mockingbird and maybe I was in a different stage of my life. I think when, when Mockingbird came out, I was what, 2021, 20, something like that. Even though listening to it, it was a really good song. It didn't make me feel that like, I didn't feel the way I'm feeling now. If anything, I felt more for him. I felt more for M because he was talking about, you know, he's talking to his daughter in The Mockingbird. So I was feeling more for M. But this one, man, that was, um, listen, I have to admit, man, I felt a little, um, I felt a little emotional. Yeah, I had to like compose myself a little bit. It wasn't one of those songs where you had to break, break down certain bars. It was just, 
you're just listening to him pouring out his heart to his daughter and yeah it made me feel away it did it, yeah it did it did like even now i'm struggling to speak <laughs> i'm struggling to put actual words together as i'm talking man, because yeah like i've said this song made my mind just go somewhere else and yeah but yeah the song is one of my favorites already yeah this is definitely one of those songs where i feel sky the great delivered again she delivered again it was a perfect song it was a perfect melody perfect sound her voice was beautiful with M going in and out of verses and she's coming on to the hook and then you still got Haley and M talking in the background that whole mixing that was that was perfect it gave it that extra effect I said I'm going to save my thoughts to the end of the song and I think I said this in one of my other videos when I did the trailer for M's album when he was announcing that it's coming out and I said in that video that the Houdini song is the key it, it is the absolute key because he said at the end of Houdini's song he said he's going to disappear and he's going to vanish into thin air I think he's going to fake his own death all right because after listening to this song I am so convinced that he knows the end is near he knows something is going to happen to him why is he writing a letter to Haley and his other kids? Why is he doing that? So I'm assuming that when he says the death of Sim Shady, technically it could be a case of he's going to fake his own death and disappear, or he and M are going to combine and like the Houdini song, again, create a monster that is going to be a mesh of M and Slim as one. This letter he's writing to Haley is almost like saying to Haley that, listen, you're not going to have your dad anymore. Your dad is not going to be the same dad that you knew, okay? I am going to be someone else. This is a goodbye letter. It could be goodbye because he won't be able to control or stop what's coming. Remember I said this, something is coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah 100 percent. and this is after guilty conscious part two he was talking to paul at the end of the song and he's giggling like i said he woke up as slim shady or he woke up as a combine of the two either way there's something sneaky about it but hey i could be wrong this is only a theory i haven't heard the rest of the album so we won't know but we are going to see and we're going to check out the next song so guys stay tuned for the next reaction and I'm out.